Hi guys, in this video I will not talk about uh, how to work with the single Photoshop tool, but the overall photo manipulation of a beauty portrait. I'm sure we'll be amazed with the final result, that's why click that subscribe button with the bell and let's start. I picked this beauty portrait for the tutorial. Also, we have an ink smudge pattern 1 and ink smudge pattern 2. And also we have ink smudge brushes that we will import it later on the tutorial. I will put the links to download it in the description. Let's turn back to the image. And I'll duplicate the original layer to have it untouched with Ctrl Command J. Now let's go filter, filter gallery. And on artistic tab, go to dry brush. Let me center the image. Brush size, brush detail and the texture depends on the resolution of the image. In our case, the brush size and the brush detail will be 10 and the texture will be 1. Click OK. Now let's create a new empty layer and fill it with white color. OK. Now let's create a new empty group. Change the blend mode to multiply and create a mask. For now, let's disable the white layer and we wanna, let's rename this to dry brush. Now we wanna copy the dry brush to the mask of the group. To do that, let's select the dry brush layer and with Ctrl Command A, we will select the layer. With Ctrl Command C, we will copy. And to select the mask of the group, hold the Alt or Option key and left click on the mask. Now with Ctrl Command V, just put the layer on the mask. It's black and white because it's a mask. Now let's go in image adjustment levels and make the mask little more black and little more white. Maybe something like this. Okay. I will just select with Ctrl Command D. Now let's invert the mask with Ctrl Command I and let's enable this white layer. I will select the group because it's time to drag the ink smudge pattern into the empty group. Okay. Let's change the blend mode to multiply and with Ctrl Command T you can change the size and the shape of the ink pattern. Okay, let me check different positions. Okay. Let's go to the second pattern and drag it into the empty group. Also change the blend mode to multiply. And again with Control Command T, just change the shape and the size of the layer. Okay. Now I will duplicate the first pattern with Control Command J. And again with Control Command T, we'll change the position. I like that. Hit enter. Now let's crop the image. We don't need these white spaces. Okay. Now let's turn back to the dry brush layer. Duplicate it again with Control Command J and drag it on the top of the layers and let's create a new inverted mask. To do that, hold uh, option Alt or Option key and click on the mask button. Now it's time to import the ink brushes. Go to brush panel on the option button, go to import brushes and here's the ink smart brushes. Now I have new group. Pick a desired brush, I like that. 
and with white color opacity maybe 40 or 50 paint on the mask of the clear on the top okay let's change the brush with a different one I like that. I like it. Okay, let's see before and after. It's very nice. Of course, if you need it, you can create a new levels adjustment layer and make some changes. Maybe less black or more white. Depends on the image. I think our image is good. Let's see again before and after. Very nice. This tutorial is a little more advanced, but if you follow the steps carefully, we will no problem to do it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe with the bell for more videos and see you soon.